Hi guys, my name is Gunna James Cole. Welcome to the channel. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to talk about Sims Free Play and Sims Mobile. The differences, the similarities, which one I think is better. I would love to hear your opinions on this down below in the comments. So make sure you go ahead and let me know what you think. Now, obviously, they are both part of the Sims franchise. They are both played on a mobile device, but they are both very, very different. Now, the Sims Free Play has been out for six years, and I have been playing it for more or less six years, and the Sims Mobile is literally a week old. And so it seems maybe harsh to compare some aspects because obviously The Sims Free Play has had a long time to incorporate new things into the game and The Sims Mobile is just so, so new and I am sure it will develop the longer it is out, the more things they will release for the game and the more the game will develop. But I feel like we can compare the gameplay and certain different aspects of the game. Now, lots of people talk to me about Sims 4 and computer versions of The Sims and I feel like you can't in any way compare The Sims 4 with a mobile game, either Sims 3 Play or The Sims Mobile. They're just completely two different things to me. The Sims Mobile and The Sims 3 Play obviously are played on your mobile phone or a tablet. They are an on-the-go type of game. They're free to play. The Sims 4 costs money to buy. There are so many different expansion packs, game packs, stuff packs, which again, you have to spend money on to buy. You have to sit at a computer to play it. They are just completely two different games. I don't feel that you can compare them in any way. There are people that love to sit at a computer and play a video game and there are people that just like to have it on their phone, on the go, they can sit wherever, when they're out and about, when they're at home. And yeah, they're just two completely different things. So to me, Sims 4, I love playing Sims 4, but I just don't really play it as much. I am more of a mobile game player. Some people do both equally. Some people never touch Sims 4 and love the mobile versions. Some people never touch the mobile versions and play Sims 4. Each are perfectly valid and fine, but I just think you cannot compare a desktop game and a mobile game. One of the main differences to me is that Sims Free Play allows you to create the Sim Town. You have Sim Town, you have Mysterious Island, you have various different areas, and you can build a town full of Sims and you can build a ton of houses. I think there's approximately 40 spaces where you can build houses. You can build houses that have four floors, patios, pools balconies, basements, you can build houseboats, you can build penthouses, there's a private island that you can build on. There are so many different styles and variety of homes. When you choose to place a lot, some come with different landscaping around them, different fences, different pavements. And to me, there is no comparison between The Sims Mobile and The Sims Free Play for building The Sims Free Play in my opinion, is far, far better. Obviously, there has been a long time, like I said before, there's been six years of continuous updates with the game, and a lot has been added in that time. There's probably not many people who can remember way back when, like six years ago when Sims 3 Play first came out, but it was nowhere near, it had nowhere near the amount of content that it has now. Of course it didn't. And The Sims Mobile is in that very early stage. But I do think that the whole way the games work, though, to me, are just different in the sense that with Sims Free Play, you are creating a town full of different Sims. I think you can have like 34 Sims when you get up to the highest level, level 55. And you can control all of those different Sims. And you can control babies, toddlers, seniors, all different age ranges you can control. Whereas in The Sims Mobile, the whole idea of the game is to have one household and one family. You can only build one house. And you are following that household and those Sims through their life. When you've got your house, it's just one house, it's one floor. There's no patios, there's no balconies, there's no pools, there is no anything like that. There is also a room limit. When you first start the game, you can only have three rooms in your house. And even as you progress up through the levels, the limit is 12 rooms on one house at the moment. You can customise the workspaces in Sims Mobile. 
but not really. You can unlock different decorations and furnitures for the workplaces and you can place them in, but you can't change the room sizes and it's it's more kind of redecorating as opposed to doing anything structurally like the doors, the windows, nothing like that can be moved. So definitely for me in terms of building, The Sims Free Play hands down wins over with The Sims Mobile at the moment because there's just so so many different ways of building. If you are someone that enjoys the building aspect of The Sims, hands down, The Sims Free Play wins for me. An area where I feel The Sims Mobile is or will eventually be better than The Sims Free Play is in the Creator Sim section. So The Sims Mobile is by far better in how much you can customise your sim. You can pick individual facial features and body shapes and you can use your sliders to really alter very fine details on each of your sims. You can move the ears up and down and you can pull the nose out and you can make their shoulders wider and there's so many ways you can customise each sim's individual body and face shape. That just isn't there in The Sims Free Play. In The Sims Free Play, a female adult looks like any other female adult. There are maybe around 12 different heads, faces, but they kind of all look pretty much the same in my opinion. If you are a female adult in Sims Free Play, you look pretty much exactly the same as any other female adult in Sims Free Play. You can of course change the hairstyles and there are a ton of hairstyles in The Sims Free Play. That is where they are better in that they have got more hairstyles and more clothing variety. But that maybe just simply is that the game has been out so much longer and when The Sims Free Play first came out there was hardly any clothing options. You do have to win all of those clothing options as you progress through the game. And so because I've been playing Sims Free Play for six years I have unlocked all of the clothing items. People who have maybe only been playing a year haven't got as many choices as I have because they haven't completed all the events that I have completed and won all of the different hairstyles and the different clothing that you can win within The Sims Free Play. So I think the potential is there that The Sims Mobile is going to be by far better than The Sims Free Play with the creator sim if they come out, which I assume they are going to come out with more clothing options, more hairstyles. As the game progresses and they bring out updates, I am sure that they will add more things like that. So with the creator sim, Sims Mobile wins for me. The way that the two games are played are completely different. The whole kind of gameplay behind them, The Sims Free Play is very structured around quests, hobbies, event, limited time events, and there are lots of tasks to do. And those tasks can be hours and hours and hours. And it's real time. And quite often, the difficulty I find, and lots of people find with The Sims Free Play, is that if a new quest comes up, there's a seven day time limit on that. You can have tasks within that quest that take 12 hours. You can have some that take 4 hours, some that are 20 hours. And to be able to complete these quests on time, you really do have to think about it and be like quite strategic in how you do it. We have real life and sometimes we're not able to get onto our phone at whatever time to change our Sims task. They've completed one task, we need to put them on to start in the next one so that we can complete the quest in time to win the limited time prize. It just isn't possible for everyone and I do think that quite a lot of Sims Free Play players find that quite frustrating that they just can't keep up with the limited time quests, events and hobbies. Sims Mobile on the other hand seems just far easier that you have 30 energy for your Sims, the tasks that you do literally take seconds so you just pick up your phone or your tablet and play until your sims run out of energy, put it down, then pick it back up again. There's no, at the moment, there is no time limited things that you need to rush to complete to earn special items, which is a more relaxed way of playing the game and far more enjoyable, I suppose, for a lot of people. I do quite like the whole sims free play aspect, but maybe only because I'm able to get on my phone and get on my game more or less whenever I want so I can make sure that I can complete the events. In Sims Mobile, you start a four hour event and actually it will just run through and it will take four hours or you can speed it up by doing these little tasks with your Sims. Far more relaxed and far more enjoyable, I would think, for a lot of people. 
As I've mentioned, with The Sims Free Play, you can control up to 34 Sims at the highest level, which is an awful lot of Sims. You can control babies, toddlers, preteens, teens, adults, and seniors, which is all of the ages. With The Sims Mobile, you can only control four adult Sims. Your actual household can have more, including children and seniors, but you can only control four adult Sims, and realistically, it's two sims because you have to get the others with in-game cash which is quite hard to come by. There are also pets in the sims free play which maybe sims mobile will introduce at some point. That to me is maybe an unfair comparison because I'm sure that the sims mobile will introduce pets at some point. The sims free play doesn't really have any non-playable sims so you can have your 34 sims that you're controlling and Really, you don't ever see any other Sims in your town other than at Christmas Father Christmas turns up or we have a Cyrus, the alien. There's certain characters that turn up for different quests, but you can't control them. They are just there to help guide you through a quest. Whereas The Sims Mobile, there are so many non-playable Sims, which just feel more like The Sims 4, where neighbours walk past your house. It's got a very sort of Sims 4 feel about it, I think that you can be in your house with your sims doing something and neighbours walk past that you can then interact with, you can make friends with them, you can get married to them if you want. I think you can even become enemies with them. They will also show up when you go and do your jobs at your workplaces and at the park and you can just interact with other players, which for me personally, I find it quite stressful. I don't know why I do, but I find it quite stressful having all of these other sims around. I don't know why at all but I quite like that in Sims free play I know who's in my town, I know who they are, I don't like that there's all of these other Sims floating around but I can understand that for most people that is a nicer playing experience and it's just a more realistic town. Like if you go to the park in Sims free play, if you pull over one of your Sims into the park, there's going to be nobody else in the park, it's just going to be you and your Sim unless you pull over different people. One of the obvious similarities is the fact that they are both free to play. They both carry the same model of gaming in that they're free to play, but there are lots of add-ons that you can do that you could actually spend a fortune on these games <laughs> if you wanted to. But also you don't need to spend any money on them whatsoever to have an enjoyable gaming experience, in my opinion. Lots of people have asked me over sort of the last eight months when we've known that The Sims Mobile is coming out that, oh my goodness, I hope you're not going to stop playing Sims Free Play. And I can't imagine ever not playing The Sims Free Play, to be honest. And at the moment, I am going to be playing both. I don't know whether I will get bored of The Sims Mobile or it just won't hold my interest in the way that The Sims Free Play has. To me, the fact that The Sims Free Play has been going for six years, it has held my interest for six years. That's no mean feat. I think that's a sign that the developers have always been updating the game, which they have. There's regular updates with new quests. They are constantly improving the game. It wasn't long ago. I remember when the DIY update came out for The Sims Free Play. Building in The Sims Free Play was just, I think we had like two floors. We didn't have patios and basements and we didn't have any of those things and then when that update came out it completely changed the whole building element of Sims Free Play and made it so so much better and seeing other people's buildings is one of the reasons why I love Sims Free Play. I love going into my neighbours towns and doing house tours. I think I do quite a lot of house tours on this channel. It really is an element that I enjoy and it's something that is really really lacking in the Sims Mobile. So for me at the moment, yes, I am going to continue playing both. Like I said, I can't ever see myself stopping playing Sims Free Play. I don't know about The Sims Mobile. We'll just have to wait and see if it does hold my interest. I would love to know your thoughts. I think there is definitely a place for both. And they are actually two really quite different games. And how you play the game and how it works is really quite different. What are your opinions on this? Let me know down in the comments, whether you are playing The Sims Mobile, whether you don't like it, whether you potentially are going to give up The Sims Free Play just to play The Sims Mobile. Do you think there's space for them both? Let me know down below in the comments. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, make sure you go ahead and do that. And I will see you soon. Bye.